behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. Live music is returning, but when it comes to vaccination requirements, each venue plays a slightly different tune. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas speaks with an artist performing at the Metro about its plans to ramp up the rules. Eric Slick has spent more than a decade rocking the drums for Dr. Dog. A band that thrives on their high energy live performances. What's the past year been like for you and for the band? It's been incredibly strange. Uh, being home for a year and a half is a much different experience than uh, the last 15 years of my life. Here we go again. This fall will mark Dr. Dog's first return to the stage since early 2020. Their tour includes a sold out show at Metro in Wrigleyville, a venue that just announced vaccination requirements for fans at all upcoming shows. And Dr. Dog has their own rules. Everybody on the tour has to be vaccinated and we won't be allowing anybody backstage. It's going to be a very tight crew. Why is it so important to have a rule like that? We don't want anybody to get so sick that we need to take time off from this thing that we've been clamoring to do for a year and a half. We heard similar thoughts last week from artists preparing for Lollapalooza. I think a lot of people feel personal that we do the right things to get through this and not go back into another lockdown. But Metro takes their rules for fans a step further than Lala. They say a negative COVID test is not an acceptable alternative to proof of vaccine. Slick says those rules are up to the venue, but they do make him more comfortable behind the kit. What would your message be to maybe some fans out there who feel like this is not a fair rule? What I would say to them is that, um, you know, getting the vaccine is a lot smarter than dying of COVID. To the army at war. Slick played his solo album live last June at an outdoor venue in Nashville, but now he's ready to hit the road again with Dr. Dog. I want all of our fans to feel safe too. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. Now, Slick says the band also plans to use masks, sanitizer, and COVID tests when necessary as they travel from city to city. As for Metro, they say if you already bought a ticket to Dr. Dog or any other show and you don't want to show proof of vaccination, you can contact them for a refund. For more stories like this, download the CBS Chicago app and look for the section called Morning Insider.